Hey guys, it's Shrek and I hate chest rigs. That's not a secret. I wear a battle belt all of the time when I need to do anything tactical in the nerf world such as playing humans versus zombies or even for like a high intensity Sambo style game. That said, if you have to run a chest rig, this is the best one I've ever tried on. So, you guys know that I attend Blade Show every year and this year when I was at Blade Show, I met a fan whose father owns and operates the uh, Special Operations Equipment or SOE booth there. Now there's a pretty long waiting list for SOE gear, but because this guy was a fan, they sent me home with this and I wanted to make a video about its practicality for nerf applications when ironically it was designed for military operations. So that's, I know, very very silly in and of itself, but while holding any sort of primary, it actually isn't getting in the way. I know that's weird, but as long as you're not wearing a bandolier, it's pretty good. I'd even have room for my chesty GoPro mount up here, so I may have to test this thing out pretty soon. Now, it's designed with a, I think, three strap system, and you can see that kind of on the back, and everything is adjustable. So this is built for guys who weigh twice as much as I do, and are equally kind of like as thick, and yet at the settings, I mean, there's still room to tighten this up, and it fits me flawlessly right now. That's because it's really easy to adjust all of this, and it's really easy to take it down. So everything is put together with these doing it one-handed is a little tricky, with these uh, quick buckles, and they're pretty heavy-duty buckles, which is neato mosquito, but I I like it. I like the overall look of it, which isn't super-duper important to the guys who are like using it, using it, but it's uh, kind of like a blackish-gray Cryptek with red stitching, and that stitching is so very, very cool. It's like a subtle kind of highlight. I know subtle highlight is an oxymoron, but it's actually quite practical for nerf applications. This pouch is designed to hold either a medical kit or any sort of knickknacks. It's got plenty of room for sock bombs and I found that you could put smaller sidearms in here. So that is the zombie strike double strike and it fits in reasonably well and it's still got plenty of space. Now there's velcro up here for you to put patches on. It also holds together with some pretty heavy duty Velcro and their logo is inside which is extra special awesome. Now these are designed to hold two deep uh, AK or M16 magazines and obviously those are much more compact and space efficient than Nerf style magazines but it does, let me set this down, a fine job of holding our 12 rounders. It actually does an excellent job of holding 12 rounders. Again, with room to spare to put a sock bomb or just extra darts in the front because it's designed for too deep. But holds two of those very easy to get them out and then the magazine <laughs> flaps just come right back down as they are Velcro. But the overall comfort and ergonomics of this are great and that's because there's really not a whole lot going on on either side of my body which means that I have full range of motion with my arms which is incredible. The only thing that I knocked there was the sidearm that I put in sticking out. That is wild but the overall ease of access in these pouches is insanely cool and they really don't care like how much care you take I guess in, in throwing them open and closed. They, they stick very well even just kind of helter skeltering the whole thing but the fit of it is awesome that it fits somebody as thin and lean as myself. The efficiency of it uh, can't be overstated because it's that efficient. If it's good enough for guys overseas doing uh, incredible things, then it's certainly good enough for us to goof around with uh, fighting imaginary zombies on college campuses. But it's incredible uh, tactical gear, and it's right there at a, a price of, I think, around $100, which is quite reasonable for something of this kind of durability and with this kind of warranty like this is serious serious gear at a very reasonable price for us commercial guys but it's it's excellent I'm gonna go ahead and take it off really quick just so that I can show you what the backing looks like and how the straps work everything is double stitched some things are triple stitched where it would take any sort of kind of wear and tear but it's really really good looking like the back you can see the pattern on it and it's quite comfortable as there is plenty of space in between here and there everything is adjustable too which is really really cool so if you do need to make it special for whatever it is you're using it for that is possible there's a ton of extra strapping coming out of the uh the belt 
I guess, area because again, me, skinny, special ops guys, kind of thick. So not designed for me, but works very well for me anyway. I want to give them a huge thank you for providing the sample so that I could make the review of it. If I ever see one of these as a... <laughs> ever see one of these at a humans versus zombies event i'm going to flip these are just very very cool so hope you guys enjoyed this look at a piece of tactical gear that i had completely written off in the terms of chest rigs that i might actually try now that i have an incredible one at my disposal